We were uh, in a rocky crag, just slightly west to the encampment that Jubanan, Eresha, Simon, and um, Tenerus had set up, uh, where Anakis was basically fighting off these vines uh, from before. Uh, some goblins were found dead. You found uh, that there was a small encampment of them to the west, that the previous night had been attacked. Uh, some things set on fire, some weird pig dog things uh, were attacked in the area as well. Uh, they've not yet been identified. There was a large symbol made uh, out of blood, which also has not been identified as yet. But you know that Xander was there, and you found Xander, and he was attacking a cultist woman called Gala, who uh, revealed that she is working for Ayala, Queen of Blood, and that she's collecting relics, uh, one of which is a finger bone, and the relics are being collected so that Ayala might walk again. Xander is heading towards the elven army that's approaching. It's about two weeks away. Following Xander to find out what's going on to maybe stop him from getting the relic or to stop this um, Gala woman from getting uh, the relic or the cult or anything uh, from getting access to this seems to be the the goal. Although catching up with Xander and just finding out what has been going on seems to be the main thrust, uh, the, the main motivation here. So... Are we all just running off to meet with this army? Or are we well, going back for supplies? We're gonna, we want to try... We, sorry, what was that? Okay. Okay. We were going to go try... Is it, I don't know whether to put my headphones back in. Were we going to go try find Xander? Yeah, I thought we were just chasing him down. like Not yeah. waiting a week to get to him. Like, literally chasing him, trying yeah. to chase him down. Because he's about five minutes away. He is yeah. about five minutes ahead, yeah. So you're so we going to try and chase just, him down. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. Uh, so, uh, Anakis was the one that managed to find the trail. Yeah. Uh, he is five minutes overland. You follow for about 15 minutes following this trail, and eventually you see him atop a hill further ahead. Uh, he has managed to pull away. You can chase him overland, but... Uh, when you get to the top of the hill, you see that there is a small copse of trees that he is now in. Uh, it's, it's not what you'd quite call a forest, but certainly a small woodland area. It's about a mile or so thick. But you notice as you're entering the uh, tree line that Xander is slowed somewhat by these branches and by a lot of the bracken. He is now not uh, a full five minutes uh, ahead of you, but he is in fact 300 feet from you. You can see him through the trees and he's approaching the end of the tree line. He doesn't seem to have noticed that you guys are following him yet. Uh, Do we shout, shout for him? I Hi. might try to get closer if possible, because 300 feet is still a bit of a... It's out of range of like any spell. <laughs> so maybe we should try to get like a bit closer to him before we shout. Can we yeah. get to within like a hundred feet? Okay. okay. Um, everyone, give me stealth checks. Let's see how sneaky you can be to get close to him. He's certainly slowed down, and you guys have got a druid uh, in tow, so you're able to quickly navigate through these trees faster than he can. Eleven. I mean. Bag. <laughs> oh, 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 nice. Uh, that that would be an eight. An eight. What what was yours, Laura? Sorry. Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> All right. So we've got twenty, eleven, and eight. Mm -hmm. 
As you uh, approach, you're, you're about 280 feet away from him. And Amy steps on a large, thick branch, which is not able to take her full weight. Uh, and as she crunches down on it and it gives way, she finds that the branch is far deader than she originally anticipated. It snaps loudly. Xander stops for a moment. Doesn't turn. But he waits for a full three seconds and then quickly turns to his left and bolts uh, at an odd angle. Uh, he is now running through these trees. I'm gonna run after him. Can I always start running after him? Can I have to shout? Um, like, you didn't wait for us. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait up! Like, we're coming too! You didn't wait for us, but at least we caught you up! Like, slow down because we've done a lot of running. Like, if you could just let us catch up for a second, like, panting heavily. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, everyone, let's roll for initiative. We're going to go for a chase. Oh. I'm really shit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh. Although I finally have an initiative modifier. Oh, I don't. I'm nothing. Oh, he's gonna get us so much. Nine. That's a. Is yours uh, nine, Kerry? Was that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Laura. Sixteen. Sixteen. Abby. Eight. 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 And Sandra got seventeen. Uh, so uh, he gets to run ahead first. Uh, but we're doing uh, forest, so let's see, forest chase, forest chase, forest chase. I was hoping you would fall for the bait of like, oh, well, we'll follow behind him at a leisurely pace. Uh, but no, it seems that uh, you guys are, are not all for that. Chase is 252. Ah, ha, ha. So, um, you guys will be uh, running after him and will be making rolls to see what kind of um, like trips and falls he makes versus what you guys make and see if you can close the gap uh, as time goes on. Um, we're going to go for a simplified version. Uh, since he's going first, uh, he's uh, going to see if uh, a chase complication. Uh, How far happens. away is it? So he's uh, 280 feet. Mm. Yeah, quite a distance. And <laughs> uh, as he's running through these trees, he jumps up, grabs onto a branch, and pulls down on it as he uh, collapses down to the ground. And as he lets go, you notice a beehive launch itself from the branch and hit the ground behind him as these small insects swarm around angrily and fill up the space behind him. Uh, Eden, you're chasing behind him in thick, dense woods. Okay. Um, I don't really want. I don't. I don't want to attack him. Can I? Yeah. You could just use your action to to dash to like close that distance faster. <clears throat> um. Yeah, and then when I get as close as I can, maybe a bad idea, but. I'm going to tell him that I stole that finger bone. <laughs> stole. I mean, borrowed her finger bone. Okay. Um, do you want to just shout that at the end? Because uh, Yeah. Even if you're still like a, a hundred feet or so away. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll stop him. Uh, yeah. Um... As you mention the finger bone, he stops dead in his tracks. 
turns towards you and you see that his eyes have been replaced by open flames and smoke starts billowing out. Cool. He then takes in a deep breath and as he breathes out, more smoke comes from his mouth. It is thick, it is dark. And he just pulls out two daggers from his coat. He's like, okay, hold hold on. <laughs> Well done. Well done. <laughs> Wait, is Amy and Anakis are coming? Just <laughs> we just have a timeout, okay, for one. <laughs> just just a uh, timeout. Yeah. So never mind me finding the chase thing. You mentioned the finger bone. Uh, <laughs> Amy, you are. Let's say for the sake of uh, uh, ease. Uh, it, you are three turns away. Ugh, Christ. How am I three turns away? Uh, well, if you uh, move at 30 feet uh, and then dash for 30 feet, that's 60 feet worth of movement. Uh, so you can move 180 feet uh, over the course of three turns. I have truncated that distance because actually making you run for like five, six turns is not enjoyable or fun. Yeah, but how does it... Oh, okay, but Eden's also that kind of that far away as well, yes, right? Yes, yes. Right, okay, I was going to say, like, how did Ian get up there and I can't get up there? Okay. <laughs> um, right, makes sense. Um, right. Okay. Can I, I'll, I'll dash up to, I guess, where Eden is, because we've probably got the same speed. Um, and when I see his, like, flaming mouth and eyes, uh, I'll just be like, uh... Do you I need don't to know more. Uh, do you need to take... Do you need... Ugh, I've lost... <laughs> I'll say, uh, do you, do you need to go to, like, a, a medic for that? Because that, that was painful. Like, we can take you to a doctor. Give me a perception check, please. Amy and Eden. Perception. Eight. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eden, you notice that the birds have stopped tweeting, that the bees uh, have quickly dispersed since he turned around, and that on the edge of your hearing, you can just hear this whispered word over and over again. But it's just on the edge of your hearing. You know that it's the same word repeated, but you can't quite make out what the word is. Amy, however, is too busy talking to the guy to uh, realise that things are getting weird. Uh, Anakis. I dash <clears throat> to the same point. Dash forward, okay. Uh, he then... Uh, charges towards uh, Eden, Amy, and Anakis uh, with his uh, daggers drawn. He is leaping from uh, tree trunk to tree trunk, sort of kicking off each one, uh, getting himself a little bit can... of height as he's moving along. Can I... I am going... <laughs> oh, can I use my infernal language? Mm hmm to say with my palmaturgy um oh, don't do not attack us Ooh. do not attack us we are not here to harm we just want answers Ooh. um since the knack is dashed closer, could uh, you give me a perception check as well? Thinking about it before I forget. Yeah. Oh, shit. Eight. Uh, you've noticed the uh, dispersal of the bees and nothing more. But as you uh, say these words in Infernal, he stops. His feet almost stuck to a tree trunk 
and he scrapes down it, tearing up some of the bark and small licks of flame coming from the bottom of his boots. And as he slides down and hits the ground, he turns his head rapidly to one side as if he's just snapped his head. And he responds also in Infernal, again with a, a booming voice that seems to match yours. And uh, who else understands Infernal, or is it just Anakis? Me. Just... Oh. I understand it. Oh. oh, we all understand it. I got a Bissell. Ah, the other one. The other one. <laughs> so, uh, Anakis and Amy, uh, you hear him respond with... Answers are not forthcoming. Well, a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> I. I think it's in his turn now. Are we still in? Are we still in initiative? I guess. Are we, are we, uh, no. Yeah, we're, we're still in initiative. Um, I'll allow you to respond if you want to say a thing. What did he say? Remind me again. Uh, answers are not forthcoming. <laughs> Um, can I reply just in that? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Um, can I say in Infernal, um, we're trying to help you. We want to help mm -hmm. you. We want to help a demon. <laughs> His head then help? snaps to the other side. And he responds with... This shell cannot be helped. Oh, Eden. Man, yeah, looks like we're killing him, aren't we? No, we we need to take him somewhere to exercise him. We we and how we're gonna gonna tie him up and drag him out of the forest? I don't know. I'm not we're gonna... under exercise <laughs> anyway. We are not gonna kill this guy. I'm telling you now. <laughs> but even if we try, we're probably not going to be able to. We are going to die <laughs> if we try and kill this guy. Yeah. Um, but we're not going to be conscious. Sure. Go for it. Um. <laughs> um. Um. Uh, I mean, I gotta cast something, right? Yeah. Are you close enough? It's still. How far away is he, Drew? Um, while you were chasing him, I wanted uh, some distance. Um, it's. I'm gonna fudge the distance because um, we're involved in this this fight, and it would just be like round after round of you guys just moving closer and moving closer. Um, so let's just say that there's about 120 feet between you and him now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even think I have anything that goes that far. To be fair. No, I don't. No. <laughs> yeah. So um Does an Eldritch Blast have a decent range? Hundred feet in it. Yeah, I don't think it's that I don't think Isn't it's that one hundred. Um Oh gosh, why am I doing that? When I can do it in here. Uh Eldritch Blast? 120. Range range. 120. Right. Yeah, um, sure. Sure. <laughs> what? I love how resigned you are. It's like... <laughs> anything that anybody's saying right now. So, <laughs> when in doubt, Eldritch Blast. You should get that on a t-shirt. When in doubt, <laughs> basic warlock. <laughs> basic. Yeah, basic. Sorry, I've been watching Good Place. It's such a good show. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> you messy bench. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Give me a, a spell attack. Okay. Ten. Ten. Yeah. As you <clears throat> launch your Eldritch Blast towards him. Uh, he brings one of these daggers up, and as he does, it wreaths itself in flame, and he deflects it. <gasps> what is this AC? Where? Uh, 
higher than 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. It was pretty shitty, to be fair. So, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd missed that bit. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. It's got amazing defense. Ethan's like, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's what it. caused that. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Right, okay. Uh, Alright, uh, so that was uh, Eden's turn. Amy. Uh, okay, so I'm still 30 feet away, so I'm going to have to... Oh god, even going 30 feet isn't... Hang on. Um... Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Is there no more penalties for armor in movement? Uh, no, so, so long as... Um... I think it's if you're not proficient in heavy armor, it reduces it by five feet or something along those lines. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna run as fast like as close as I can get in one. Okay, yeah, you can basically yeah. halve the distance. Yeah. All right, dashing forward. Uh, do you want to say anything while you're doing it? Um. No, I don't know. I can't think of anything good, so I'm just trying to get close to him. Just yell in infernal. Insert quip here. Basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Abby. I too am also. I'm going to mirror what he's done with his eyes and the smoke okay. with my thaumaturgy. <laughs> um. <laughs> And and then just prepare my. I can't do two cantrips. Can I? I'm not. I, it's not as if I don't, I, I don't want to attack, but I, I want to do like a Wolverine type style thing with my hands, you know, for the primal sav <laughs> savagery. Okay. But just prepare, like prepare it, but not obviously use it. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. You, you can sort of like start making the motion. It's kind of like even with the the ghostly grasp thing. It's sort of like um, not quite casting it, but. Getting yeah, close to it. And, yeah, and just say, uh, just boom to him. We're not here. We're not mm. here to harm. We're here to help. Uh, that might give be. me. Uh, yeah, give me a, another charisma. Uh, uh, there's a lot of charisma based things going on here because you guys are, are trying to be very persuasive and reaching people. Uh, give me a charisma ability check. Uh, persuasion, if you're proficient, can be added on to it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 14. 14. Where did I put that? Ah, there it is. The head then snaps back to the other side, <sighs> and then it straightens up. The smoke stops for a moment. Uh, a, a quick gout of flame shoots out of his mouth, and he drops down to one knee, sporting himself with one of the daggers. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> Back at you, bitch. <laughs> I... I don't know... Why... I only draw my weapons when I'm attacking. What danger is near? Yeah, that was... Are we out of initiative now, sorry? Not yet. Um, no. He oh, then okay. clenches over as if in pain. <clears throat> and you see flames shoot from his eyes again. No! God damn it! Demon! What is happening? And no. then the flames start shooting from his mouth again. And it seems the demon has taken control. Okay. Uh, his turn next in initiative. Uh, so uh, he is going to continue charging forwards. 
Um, so he'll get to 30 feet away from uh, Amy and Anakis. Uh, so it is now 90 feet from Eden. Uh, unless Eden sort of just moved her 30 feet towards him and then shot the Eldritch Blast. In which case, yeah. you're 60 feet away. Yeah. Uh, he then hides uh, partly behind uh, a tree, reaches out and throws one of his daggers. And as it does so, it spins through the air quickly and uh, starts arcing electricity between the blade and different tree trunks. He throws it at... Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, gets attacked by the toe. <laughs> uh, well, let's, let's do, do this with dice. Let's do it with dice. Why not? Anakis. Oh, so with my quartz staff, mm -hmm. I'm just like a baseball. Well, to be fair, I did just roll a six on the attack roll, so. <laughs> Does that mean I uh, succeed at the baseball? <laughs> you whack it clear. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty oh. badass. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Ian. Not today. <laughs> he then leans back behind the tree trunk and yells out in Infernal You cannot retrieve this shell. It is mine. Uh, back to differ. <laughs> Eden. Blight. 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 Blight? Yes. It's my new one. <laughs> <laughs> my new one. I'm level four. I got skills. I'm excited. <laughs> I got yep. skills. The multiplying. It's 30 feet. Mm -hmm. A little bit more necromancy. I'm going that route. Ooh. I know, right? Um, uh, necromancy, watch over the creature of your choice. You can see within range, draining moisture and vitality from it. Target must make a constitution saving throw. Target takes 8d8 necrotic damage. It's with my dice today. I mean, he rolled good on the stealth check earlier, but that was a 5 that I just rolled. He gets a plus 4 to constitution. So, uh, yeah, that's a fail. I don't, I don't even know if I have 8d8. <laughs> One. Well done. <laughs> Gotta make a collection. <laughs> Two. Three. Oh, cool. Four. If you just target like a normal tree, it just dies. I know. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> it's a spell that's just like. <laughs> like. Like. Uh, talking to a necromancer, you know, raising a family is hard. They're very close enough together. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why? Do oh, eight. There we go. Okay. It's like I need. I don't have enough dice. Okay. All right. Yeah, and then it doesn't do make like... them. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I sell those. I don't keep those. <laughs> um, even though I want to. Oh, okay, yeah. So there's nothing until it hits fifth level. Fifth level slot. Okay, okay, okay. That's a good sound, right? If only I had a tray. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. No. <laughs> no. No. She's, she's off. Um, okay, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, Brute. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, damn it. Okay. Non-lethal, non-lethal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any yeah, and vitality from it. Oh, that's well ace. Isn't it awesome? Oh, love it. Yeah. All right. So Eden charges forward, uh, <laughs> points a finger at him, despite the fact that he's 
hiding partly behind a trunk. You can still see him. Uh, he's just got like three quarters cover. So, like, yeah. Uh, you, you point your finger at him and the tree that he's hiding behind sort of shifts and shimmers and the vague outline of Selendar reaches out from the tree, grabs onto his shoulders, and slightly pulls him towards the tree, his fingers digging into Xander's shoulders, and then the fingers start pulsing as the life force drains from Xander into this tree, and he starts to wither slightly. His cheeks become sallow, his eyes, were they not aflame, would be rolling back into his head, and then the tree lets go and returns back to its static state and he leans forward breathless the head then snaps to the side again and says in infernal your attempts do nothing to me what did he say? <laughs> um, he says have a nice day um... <laughs> it is now Amy's turn <laughs> Oh my god, I'm still really far away. Um, so I'm still 90 no. feet away. Uh, no, no, um, he is now 30 feet away. Oh. Yes, because okay. he moved towards you guys as well as you. Oh yeah, okay, true. Towards. Oh yeah, because he attacked. Right, yeah. yeah. 30 feet, what can I do in 30 feet? Everything. Um, he doesn't look like he is... Does, uh, does he look like he's particularly low on, on health? <laughs> I mean, I know he's just been, like, drained, so, yeah, but... You, you could use your uh, action to make a, a full evaluation. <laughs> Why don't I do that? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, also, do I know if... Do I know if tieflings innately are, like, immune to sleep? Um, you could make a quick uh, nature or history check. As my action? Oh. Uh, nope. I'll allow it okay. as a bonus action. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Uh, I mean, I'll say history, but it's eight, so. I mean, but do I not know from an Akith, like, Charlie? No. I mean, you know, I, I, every time. Uh, actually, that that's. Yeah, I, I was about to say every time uh, I meet someone who's like weak or resistant to certain things, we always share that information. But now that I think about it, every time I meet someone with like celiac disease or something, they're usually like, "Oh, I've got celiacs," uh, or, or like th they'll be like, "Oh, by the way, I'm double jointed." Like people do tend to show off like the things that make them different. Yeah, exactly. from the... and, and they know I throw a sleep <laughs> around a lot, so they'd probably be uh, like, "Look, don't do it around me," because. I'll sleep. Well, how do you know if someone's a vegan? Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you, you know what? With, with that, uh, between the history check and Anakis, you'll know that uh, uh, Typhlings have the usual um, like sleep affinity that humans do. Right. Um, that being that, you know, most mornings they are kidnapped by blankets, and it will be rude to like leave. <laughs> um oh gosh right okay i after all that i'm not gonna do sleep sorry <laughs> um <laughs> can i i want to move up to be within like melee range so 30 feet all right um, yep and i'm gonna hold my action and I want to say, uh, in Inferno, uh, Demon, release your hold on this man. And I will hold my action to stab him, attack him with my long sword as soon as he does like anything that implies that he's not done that, basically. Tries to attack someone, tries to get away from me, his eyes stay on fire and he does something. Is that okay? Yes. 
Uh, give me a charisma saving throw, oh, Amy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> it is my better save, though. But I can roll like shit today. Uh, seven. <laughs> you feel oh. a shooting, burning sensation at the back of your eyes. You are drawn to just stare into the open flames in his sockets. And you hear inside your head a booming reply. Uh, Laura, Abby, cover your ears for a sec. Oh no! <laughs> Amriel. I see you. We shall be together. Okay. <coughs> Go back on. <laughs> I had to turn it down because I had to got I was like, oh no, I can hear you! <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I get. Is that just it now? That's my go? Uh. Uh, that's uh, not the end of your go. Um, uh, in terms of like, but I'm... Sorry, uh, yeah, uh, you. Uh, I'll allow you a response to, to this basically. Do I? Uh, without giving like too much, because no, listening. Um, do I know what he's talking about? Like, does does any of that make? Because I can't remember what we. Um, no, it's not clear what he's talking about. Right, okay. Um, I just kind of tilt my head and just feel like, huh? <laughs> but still holding my action. I'm still yeah. going to hold my action. But be like, what? <laughs> Alright. Uh, Abby? It's, how, it's 30 feet away. 30 feet. Do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? Fuck it. I am going to cat. I am going to use my hellish rebuke on him. And uh, it's, the, uh, it's a reaction. Oh, on. oh, it is. Sorry. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. In that <laughs> case, I am going to aggravate him with a bit of moonbeam. <laughs> <laughs> sounds awful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it it sounds right. a bit like you're at night time with a mirror, just like annoying yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> So I do it like it says. So it says a silvery beam of pale light shines down in a five foot radius, forty foot high cylindrical centre on a point within range until the spell ends. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or start it starts its turn, it's engulfed in ghostly flames that can cause searing pain and must make a constitution saving throw. It takes 2d10 radiant damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful save. And then at third level, it's plus 1d10. I don't know if that's possible, like, because he's on the tree. Like, I'd have to have it in a certain point, wouldn't I? Um, yeah, so the five ready, you could have it. Um, Centered can I like, where he is on the tree? Yeah, that's what I mean. Can I literally just plonk yeah. it on him? All right, okay, let's do that then. <laughs> He's got to make a constitution saving throw of 14. Right. Uh, I'm praying. Yeah, well, it's just down there. Do Ooh, a shape changer. Yeah, that's what I'm oh, right, There's other things to do with it. All right. So, um, you quickly reach into a pouch at your pocket, uh, throw up uh, some small seeds, and uh, just quickly flashing uh, some sunlight off this opalescent stone that you have, catching some of the seeds, uh, they stick in the air and start emitting this bright, brilliant light down onto him. Everything's fine. Uh, I rolled a three, yes. so <laughs> let me get my defense. No. Right, radiant damage as well. Jesus. One, 
That's why I chose it. <laughs> it's radiant bad. <laughs> it is for this bio, isn't it? <laughs> nah, nah. Ra 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 radiant he heals him. Does it? <laughs> Does it? No, no, not really. <laughs> 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 Don't do that to me, you know I'm colourful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, no, I lost the dice. Oh, that's shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. No. Oh, my God. Nine. Nine total. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nine total? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As you, you flash this stone reflecting the light into the seeds and they emit this light down onto him, um, he lunges forwards towards Amy and then stops and shrinks back, burned by the light that's uh, shining all around him. Uh, he then pulls his coat up over his head and tries to protect himself. It's to no avail. He is still getting burned and charred by this light shining down on him, but uh, he is still standing. He then screams in Infernal, GET THE DAMN LIGHT OFF HIM! Only if you leave his body. <laughs> <laughs> he then says out loud, I will leave. When the angel leaves. Ooh. Mm. This guy's got all kinds of possession. <laughs> Would that count as um, not following what I said to do uh, and as holding my action? Yes. So you yeah? can follow through with your action. Okay, can I drag my sword forward at him? Non-lethal. I don't know how close we are to that, but I'm just wanna, <laughs> I'm just putting it out there now. Yeah. Um. Alright. So that's that's actually what I need. Uh, sixteen plus six. Ooh, nice. Twenty-two. Nice. Yeah, that that definitely hits. Okay, and I'm going to smite. Smite, smite, smite. Uh, so I think that's two d eight. Is he undead? He is not undead. Uh, oh, or is he a fiend? It's a fiend, isn't it? Yep. Is he a fiend? Oh, he is no. a fiend. It's just fight damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> smite, smite, smite. Yep, so I get a d8 for my sword and then 3d8 for mine. Can't see another d8. So, let's go uh, 3. Plus, uh, seven slashing damage, mm -hmm. and then, uh, oh, ten radiant damage. That's a crap slide. Smile, smile, I've got as well. As you drive your sword into his shoulder and pin him against the tree, he lets out this huge roar. Ah! The flames uh, shoot out of his eyes and up, mingling with the black smoke, becoming this huge vortex of fire <laughs> reaching up above the canopy of the trees. Uh, his mouth then stretches open as the rest of this uh, darkness emerges from him mixes with the fire and flies upwards with this thin wisp of smoke trail left behind. His head then drops down and he is unconscious. He slumps what? against the sword, pinning him down. We didn't need no Eden. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, when we take it, Sand uh, Sanders' body back to Eden, <laughs> just be like... <laughs> no, happy, <day>. happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, Alright, should we tie, tie him up while he's unconscious? I mean, yeah, can we, like, how do, like, I assume that demon's gone. I guess. Uh, I, I don't mean, know. It's supernatural we... styled out, I'm presuming. So. Can, can, we, can we check it, that the demon is gone? I, like... Can I do detect good and evil? 
So, yeah. Uh, the, no, my, what is it? Divine Sense, sorry? Yeah, you could is do Divine Sense. Uh, Typhlings don't register as fiends normally. Okay. Uh, uh, so, burning a, a spell slot to use your Divine Sense? No, it's not a spell slot, it's just it my Divine spell Sense. Slot? It's just my, it's a paladin feature. It's just oh, yeah, I get yeah. so many of them, but I get far. I always get confused about these sorts of things. Um, so I'm it's old, detect... forgive me. <laughs> it's detect good and evil, um, but yeah, the hollow spell, and then celestial fiend and undead. Cool. Uh, then you do not detect a fiend. He's down. So, so can I add anything? Anything else? Anything else? Uh, within 60 feet? No. Okay. Let, let's time up. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. I did, I guess I didn't get my rope back, so someone else got a rope. <laughs> yeah, I took it back, don't worry. It's fine. Did you? Yeah, you did. did we untie her? Yeah. No, she, did we leave her? No, I think she, we ran just her. She, she, she ran off. Alright, oh, okay. Okay, let's tie her up with the rope. It's fine. Yeah. Came up with the rope, sorry. <laughs> Still got it. Uh, do you want to do that? You're probably better at. Yeah, that I'll. Um, uh, around the tree. All right. Wake him up. <laughs> mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Love you. Oh, hi. Um, is he awake? Can we wake him up? Do we want to wake him up? Come on. Uh, he, uh, will wake up if you slap him around a little bit. Yep. Mm. Well, uh, I don't want to, like, slap him, but after a while, oh, it's face. <laughs> so, yeah, he's groggy. Blinks. Oh. What are you doing here? Saving Sander. your ass. Mm. Sander, dear, you are possessed by a demon. Oh no. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's alright. Hey. Hey, have some food. <laughs> here you go. Always makes me happy. Just, <laughs> yep. In, 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 the, in the mouth, in the mouth, in the mouth, in the mouth. In the, there we go. Uh, sorry, you were saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, that basically telling him he was possessed by a demon. Mm. I... He took control, didn't he? Seems like it. How long has he, how long has he possessed you for? I thought I could contain him. It's, it's been years. I've been siphoning his power, using it to defeat evil. Lately, he's been getting stronger. I struck a deal that he could grant me more power in times of dire need. It seems that he's reneged on his bargain. Who who is he? What's what's the demon's name? I have mentioned it before in the presence of sages and clerics, and they have turned me away at the mere utterance of his name. Well, his name is Begazul. Oh God! <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> why are you, why are you using him? He's what? a powerful demon. He grants me yeah. a great amount of power to fend off my foes. Too right, powerful. He's gonna destroy the world. He'll fill the sky with blood and fire. Why would you bring... Why? Oh. You've encountered beggars all before? I know of him. I, I'm trying to defeat him before he destroys the world. <laughs> Bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> he's 
It's prophecy. Oh, hey, it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Hey. Sorry? But thank you. It's rare for a mortal to interact with a demon in such a way. To take on a cause to destroy him. You must be one of those. Okay. I've heard about you. Those that seek the ancient weapons that can defeat him. I have tried looking for them myself. A friend of mine even found one long ago. And then Begazul came and destroyed the town in which it rested. He has a great many servants. He's very powerful. And he will... Yes, there it is. There you go. He tracks down these weapons and destroys them. And destroys any who are near them. If you seek those weapons to defeat Begazul, I advise you turn back now. Well, I can't turn back. I, I am prophesized to bring him down. I'm searching for a sword. Do you know of it? Perhaps you were given some sort of information through your connection to him. I know he does seek these tools. He's allied himself temporarily with a vile, evil creature. Something that seeks to return to the mortal plane. That creature has one such weapon. A sword that's said to be able to slay even the gods. She has it in her possession and won't relinquish it. The Blood Queen? By any chance? It is she. <laughs> oh, Christ. Right. Okay. Um. Right. So, where, where's he gone now? Is he going to be possessing someone else? Or is he going to come back to you? Or what's... He can't manifest here yet. He needs to use servants and slaves. Vassals and avatars. He possesses any that are weak-minded enough to accept him. And those that he filters his powers through. I am not of the weak-minded. Have simply created a vulnerability. One thing we must ensure is that he does not find all of these relics that can destroy him. There are, there are weapons, arms, armor dotted all over the world, and he seeks to destroy them all so that nothing stands between him and total dominion over this world. It is at this point that a further twig is heard snapping in the woods. A small contingent of elves are seen entering the forest from the south. Certainly not an army, an advance party if anything. At the head of them, in shackles, is a familiar face. Aired and scepter. Who's that party member? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eden uh, looks uh, a little bit worse for wear. Uh, his hands are uh, bound in front of him. And as he steps forward with a shove, uh, the elf behind him, wielding a javelin, poking him in the side, tells him in Elven, just as we rehearsed, and then steps forth, raises himself up. By the order... Looks behind him, gets another poke in the side. Of the Edel Imperium, you're all under arrest. What did you do? 